Day 188, Psalms 135 through 139. Prayed to God with all your heart. 135. Pray to God in creation and redemption. 136. Thanksgiving to God for His enduring mercy. 137. Longing for Zion in a foreign land. 138. The Lord's goodness to the faithful. 139. God's perfect knowledge of man. Sometimes it's easy to praise the Lord simply by recalling the past, 135 and 136. At other times, memories of the past produce more pain than praise, 137. But even times of the trouble and tears can be called for praise. 138. As you think about the infinite knowledge and unceasing presence of your omnipotent God. 139. Psalm 135. Praise Yah. Praise the name of Yahweh. Praise Him, you servants of Yahweh, you who stand in the house of Yahweh, in the courts of our God's house. Praise Yah, for Yahweh is good. Sing praises to His name, for that is pleasant. For Yah has chosen Jacob for Himself, Israel for His own possession. For I know that Yahweh is great, that our Lord is above all gods. Whatever Yahweh pleased, that He has done, in heaven and in earth, in the seas and in all deeps who causes the clouds to rise from the ends of the earth, who makes lightnings with the rain, who brings forth the wind out of his treasuries, who struck the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and animal, who sent signs and wonders into the midst of you, Egypt, on Pharaoh and on all his servants, who struck many nations and killed mighty kings, Shehon, king of Amorites, Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land for a heritage, a heritage to Israel his people. Your name, Yahweh, endures forever. Your renown, Yahweh, throughout all generations. For Yahweh will judge his people, and have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they can't speak. They have eyes, but they can't see. They have ears, but they can't hear. Neither is there any breath in their mouths. Those who make them will be like them, yes, everyone who trusts in them. House of Israel, praise Yahweh. House of Aaron, praise Yahweh. House of Levi, praise Yahweh. You who fear Yahweh, praise Yahweh. Blessed be Yahweh from Zion, who dwells at Jerusalem. Praise Yah. Psalm 136 Give thanks to Yahweh, for He is good, for His loving kindness endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for His loving kindness endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for His loving kindness endures forever. To Him who alone does great wonders, for His loving kindness endures forever. To Him who by understanding made the heavens, for His loving kindness endures forever. To him who spread out the earth above the waters, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who made the great lights, for his loving kindness endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for his loving kindness endures forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who struck down the Egyptian firstborn, for his loving kindness endures forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his loving kindness endures forever, with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea apart, for his loving kindness endures forever, and made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his loving kindness endures forever, but overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness, for his loving kindness endures forever. To him who struck great kings, for his loving kindness endures forever, and killed mighty kings, for his loving kindness endures forever. 
Shihon, king of the Amorites, for his loving kindness endures forever. Og, king of Bashan, for his loving kindness endures forever, and gave their land as an inheritance, for his loving kindness endures forever, even a heritage to Israel his servant, for his loving kindness endures forever, who remembered us in our low estate, for his loving kindness endures forever, and has delivered us from our adversaries, for his loving kindness endures forever, who gives food to every creature, for his loving kindness endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the God of heaven, for his loving kindness endures forever. Psalm 137 By the rivers of Babylon there we sat down. Yes, we wept when we remembered Zion. On the willows in the midst of it we hung up our harps. For there those who led us captive ask us for songs. Those who tormented us demanded songs of joy. Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing Yahweh's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. Let my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth if I don't remember you, if I don't prefer Jerusalem above my chief joy. Remember, Yahweh, against the children of who said, Raise it, raise it even to its foundation. Daughter of Babylon, doomed to destruction, he will be happy who rewards you as you have served us. Happy shall he be who takes and dashes your little ones against the rock. Psalm 138 by David I will give you thanks with my whole heart. Before the gods I will sing praises to you. I will bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your loving kindness and for your truth. For you have exalted your name and your word above all. In the day that I called, you answered me. You encouraged me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth will give you thanks, Yahweh, for they have heard the words of your mouth. Yes, they will sing of the ways of Yahweh, for great is Yahweh's glory. For though Yahweh is high, yet he looks after the lowly, but the proud he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of my enemies. Your right hand will save me. Yahweh will fulfill that which concerns me. Your loving kindness, Yahweh, endures forever. Don't forsake the works of your own hands. Psalm 139 For the Chief Musician A Psalm by David Yahweh, you have searched me, and you know me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, Yahweh, you know it altogether. You hem me in behind and before. You laid your hand on me. This knowledge is beyond me. It's lofty. I can't attain it. Where could I go from your spirit? Or where could I flee from your presence? If I ascend up into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and settle in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand will lead me and your right hand will hold me. If I say, surely the darkness will overwhelm me, the light around me will be night. Even the darkness doesn't hide from you, but the night shines as the day. The darkness is like light to you. For you formed my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. My soul knows that very well. My frame wasn't hidden from you when I was made in secret, woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my body. In your book they were all written the days that were ordained for me, when as yet there were none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, God! How vast is the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I wake up, I am still with you. If only you, God, would kill the wicked, get away from me, you bloodthirsty men, for they speak against you wickedly, your enemies take your name in vain. Yahweh, don't I hate those who hate you? Am I not grieved with those who rise up against you? 
I hate them with perfect hatred. They have become my enemies. Search me, God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the everlasting way.